This is an overview of my 6L6 vacuum tube Tesla coil. Uh, this device has a particular significance to me because this is the first Tesla coil I ever built and I built it in 1969 and it still operates um, you know, over 50 years later. I, the only thing I've had to replace is the power cord because it got dry and cracked. There's not a whole lot uh, to go over with this, but we'll do it anyway. It's a little different than most Tesla coils because I didn't have to make the primary and secondary coil or the grid feedback coil. You can see right here, it relies on this commercial coil, which was very common in TVs back in the late 1940s. But it actually is a small Tesla coil. Here's the primary coil. Here's the secondary coil. And here's the grid, grid feedback coil. These were made obsolete by flyback transformers several years later. And you can't even buy them anymore. But this, uh, this vacuum tube Tesla coil it uses a uh, 6L6 beam power tetrode tube, which is this, to do the actual oscillation. And this was back before the days where you could get, where high voltage diodes were commonly available. So it uses a vacuum tube diode. There's actually two diodes in there. So you can make a full wave bridge out of it, rectifier. And this is the, uh, the, the power transformer. It, it, it's mainly 500 volts center tapped for the uh, plate power and it supplies filament power. I'm not going to show it operating here. I've got another video show it operating. This is just an overview. But anyway, I just thought I'd let everybody see this because it's the first uh, Tesla coil I ever built. Goodbye.